so my goggles broke, sadly. Uh, so, and I can't find my glasses and whatnot. And I'm going to do a little update on the greenhouse now. And uh, <laughs> there's just so much going on. It's probably going to be in two parts. Probably I'm just going to say what needs to be done and weird stuff that's going on in here. And then I'm going to go on and do the stuff and then update from there. Do some stuff. Maybe this would be a couple parts two, three parts. Looks like I need to do a lot of work. Anyways, this is really cool, um, but also terrible at the same time. This is all ice on here. Very pretty. I'm not sure if you can get a good look at it. The sun went away. But yeah, it's just all this ice in here. And if I look over here, it's pretty frozen. Man, this thing won't focus at all. There you go. Focus on my fingers. Thank you. So yeah, all this stuff is so frozen. It's ridiculous. See this right here. See, look at that. Pretty ice. And more ice in the uh, barrels here. They're pretty... Uh, whatever. Just stick and punch a hole in this. There we go. But thankfully, it stays above freezing for the most part, even though the water does freeze. Because as the water freezes, it gives off some heat. Oh. And I also got some microbes in the mail. Not exactly what I was supposed to get. I got uh, in here. It's a little packet of this is micro mix. The oh, who knows what's in it actually. And the instructions it says it's fairy shrimp, clam shrimp, and daphnia. Got off eBay. It wasn't what I was supposed to get. I was supposed to get some ro rotifers and things like that. And the little fishy down here. It's your time to shine, little fishy. Say hello to the camera. Sorry for my fingers, I had to focus. Say hello to the camera, little fishy. You need a name. People need to name you. He's just sitting there. I'll probably throw some in there. Some of those things in there for him to feed on. So I'm going to grow in the tank and for him to feed on, clean up the water and stuff. I need to get a little pump or something in there for him so I think the water will be cleaner for him. He's doing okay though. Um, I also have all the plants. The plants are still doing pretty good. Wow. Focus issues today. Focusing on the things. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Focusing issues. So we got all the plants. I gotta move the big old aquarium down here somewhere. Got the little heat thing down here, trying to heat up the top part. I gotta knock off a bunch of snow off of the tops here. And I'll get at that. So, I'll talk to you guys a later. And I'll do all this stuff like craziness and have some fun with it. Um, I'm gonna keep on growing, and hopefully. And I'll see you guys soon. Magic. Uh, here I'm doing some compost stuff. I got my little compost stick here. I'll move it over so you can actually see it. It's got a little end on here. This is great for digging around in the compost. You just kind of stick that end in, in the compost like so and just kind of dig it around. I'm going to put some more compost in and stir it. It's my compost stirring stick. Literally a stick. The branch piece on it. It's not very long. It's Oh no. It's hard to get. Um, yeah, I really can't put it against anything in order to make it and show you how long it is. It's about, I don't know, forearm length or so. It's got a bit of a. I guess you can call this a handle. Just hold on to it and dig away. It's literally just a branch from the tree that fell down. 
There we go, that's all dug up. Oh yeah, I gotta dig up that hole a bit more. There we go. Dug up the hole. I'm gonna put some more compost in. Oh, what have we got in the compost? We got lots of gooeys and grossness and eggs. Oh, eggs, my nemesis. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Now, to put my fill down for no particular reason. Because I need. Oh, I put it in the water. Ugh. Okay. So I wipe my phone off on camera. Make a whole bunch of noise. I'm sorry. I'll just pause the video. Here we go. There's, there's the uh, compost in there. Lots of stuff in there. Paper plates and things. That'll decompose, not very quickly, but they'll still de decompose. They got some carboniferous material um, in the paper towels and the paper plates. There's no biological content in them, so they won't break down as quickly. But eventually, they'll get soaked up by the juices of other decomposing material, and they'll decompose as well. Alright, I'm just going to stir that up and then get at moving some of this stuff uh, so I can move this huge aquarium down there I guess and uh, we'll get on with the rest of the stuff so you know I just noticed something about as I was knocking some of this ice off of here the ice is only right here and there's no ice here this is where there's uh, it's the plastic is sort of doubled up I think if I can double up the plastic around the sides and maybe the top as well, I can uh, actually get this greenhouse quite a lot warmer. Because there seems to be very little ice, as long as there's some space, uh, that air space right there. And it's the same on the other side as well. So I actually might be able to get this greenhouse working pretty good if I put some more plastic around it. Um, I might try that um, in a little while. Although that might be heck, and hell, heck, I might as well just make a new one, I don't know. This project is sort of, you know, a failure, but sometimes we learn from our failures, and we do better. And considering this is sort of like an experiment, I'm learning a whole bunch from it, so I'm going to keep on learning and keep on doing some more stuff on this. Um, I'm going to get back to work, and just want to show you guys that, because that's some insulative property right there. Good old insulation. So, um, yeah, see you in a jiffy. There's so much to do in this greenhouse still. I gotta get a pump, I gotta hook up all these trays I have down here uh, to circulate the water, clean the water, and then back into those tanks. I'm just gonna finish off by putting some of this micro mix in to these two tanks and hopefully it works um, the water isn't too great right now just take a little bit and uh, sprinkle them in this really just looks like a bunch of dirt I think I just bought a bunch of dirt on eBay So it looks like. It looks like I just bought a whole bunch of dirt. But I bet there's some microbes in there. Well, that I can tell. But that's going to go in. I'm guessing the dirt is to transport the eggs and things. So I'll do the same thing in the other, the other box and uh, or the other barrel and Hopefully we get some microbes going. Oh yeah, this is a bunch of sand. More sand. Right there, more, lots and lots more sand. And I'm gonna toss that in there. And I hope that works. I suggest not buying these things on eBay, but it's the only place I can find them. You can also get them, um, you can get uh, Daphne and things like that just from any water body, streams, things like that, pretty much. Actually, I'm just going to do that. A bit more in there. 
and I'll put a little bit on here. And then I'm going to break the ice. Quite literally, break the ice. Um, <laughs> with the now ice breaking stick. Okay, and that's where the video will end. I'll see you guys later. Uh, I'm having fun with this. It's a great experiment. Um, and, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> See you guys later. Uh, love you guys. Thanks for watching. It's been an adventure and a half. Um, pretty sure only my parents and my friends watch this for the most part. But that's okay. You guys keep having fun. See you guys later.